I actually had on my slash. <laughs> Take that one out. I know. Take that's that going to be the start of the video. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my other mother here. Hello. Valerie, and you guys have been wanting more videos with her and she came up with this great idea of sharing some of her brownie scout memorabilia from when she was a young girl. So I guess I'll just let her take it away from here. Oh, before we get started, make sure you follow me on Instagram and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more of my moms and my life. Okay, Valerie, take it away. Way. Well, thank you, Alex, for inviting me to be on your channel today. Recently, when I was uh, in my hometown and we were going through a lot of the things I had when I was a child, I found all of my old brownie and Girl Scout stuff. You're a brownie when you're in second and third grade, and you are a Girl Scout when you're in fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. And if you can imagine me being in second and third grade, that is really something, isn't it? So as some of you may know, I'm 64 years old, so that's been a long, long time ago. I was probably like, what, seven, eight years old when I was a brownie? So we're talking about in the 1960s. That's right. I remember the 1960s. That's amazing, isn't it? So what I want to do is I want to show you some of the memorabilia I found. So I actually have my Girl Scout brownie handbook from the 1960s. And it's amazing, it's got all this like neat stuff in it. And I think it's interesting because my name is actually written at the top of it. Part of the question becomes then, well, what, is a, what does a brownie look like? <laughs> and brownies, back when I was in second grade, and look, it's got my name in it too. Brownies wore these little beanies. That was my brownie beanie. Can you believe that? I wore that brownie beanie. And we had a uniform. And this was my actual brownie uniform. Look how cute it is. It's got a little tie to it. Look how cute it is, guys. Now, in addition, I had the attractive matching sweater and... Oh, Alex, the purse is too far away. I can't reach it. I'll tell you, this is a spiffy looking outfit. And here's the little change purse, because you see it's got a belt so you can put a little change purse there. And I had a handbag. I had my very own brownie handbag. Isn't that something? In my brownie handbag, I had an official brownie handkerchief. Back in the 60s, every girl had to have a handkerchief, because that was what you did. I don't know why, because we actually had Kleenex. So I have no idea why you would want to have a handkerchief because it just get dirty and I don't know. And I don't think I ever used it because it was just like too pretty. But this was my official brownie handkerchief. And this was my official brownie purse. And my official brownie change purse. Alex is gonna show you what I looked like when I was in second and third grade. When I was actually a brownie. Here I am in second grade. Okay, guys, guess which one is Valerie <laughs> in the comments. That right there is Valerie. Let me know if you got it right. When I was in third grade, really, this is like like forever and a day. I guess the girls that were going to be seated in the front row must have been told to wear white that day. That is Valerie right I there. I was not seated in the front row, so I did Look not have to curls, wear white. Look at those curls, Valerie. I know, I know. Oh, Scary, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, just a little. Okay. After I went from third grade, I was able to take off the brownie beanie and I got my very own Junior Scout beret. <laughs> Here is my Junior Scout beret that I wore. Very stylish, don't you think? And when you were a Junior Scout, you had a uniform and a little bow tie that you wore. There was a little bow tie that you went on this, but the main thing is, is you had this lovely slash, sash. You had, <laughs> let me try that, that again. You had this lovely sash, and on the sash, all these things meant something. And now I had more of these, but I didn't get them sewn on for some reason, but 
all of these things meant something and they were badges and stuff that you earned and I think they probably still do that in Scouts. And as you can see, we, we had, uh, I think the candle was actually one for our particular troop that we had picked. With the attractive bow tie, we also had a sweater for those cool days that also matched my Girl Scout attire. I'm not sure why I didn't have a purse for Girl Scouts. I also had an official Girl Scout hanky. I may not have had the purse, but I had the official Girl Scout hanky. Once again, never used because they had invented Kleenex. And Junior Girl Scout Handbook. And in the Junior Girl Scout Handbook, you had songs and you had crafts and cooking tips and how to use a knife, and how to tie a rope. I never learned how to tie a rope, how to go camping. I never wanted to go camping. I was a terrible scout. <laughs> to, <laughs> to me, camping is anything less than the Hampton Inn, so no camping for Valerie. But anyway, these were all, oh, here's the badges. Here's the badges on the back that you could earn. I, that's why I know that I had a lot more badges than I actually had on my slash. <laughs> Take that one out. I know. Take that's that going to be the start of the video. <laughs> I had a lot more badges than I had on my sash. I want the mental block now. I'm always going to call it a slash. You know that? I don't know why I called it a slash. I wonder if that's some like deep seated psychological reason. Anyway, I'll tell you these, uh, these handbooks were what you used to make all of your, your meetings and stuff, you had to have your handbooks. Now, I'm not sure what happened to my fourth grade group picture, but, because all these were, I, I don't know if they still do this in school, but what they would do is on picture day, they'd round up all the little kids, they'd put them in front of the photographer, and you had to smile pretty. And so you always had a group picture. But here's the fifth grade one. Now I become a little more recognizable. Yeah. She is right there. And here is sixth grade. You can definitely tell that's yeah. Valerie. Now, now I'm like starting to grow into my own, you'll notice. She is right I'm there. Starting to pick out some of my own clothes. The so, audience can take that as they will. Yes, you can. So that is what I looked like in sixth grade. You'll notice you notice how tall I was? I was the tallest person in my <laughs> class in sixth grade. That was my claim to fame. I hope that you have enjoyed this walk down memory lane as I have displayed to you all of my wonderful scout uh, items. Now the question might be, well don't they have like cadet scouts and senior scouts after sixth grade? Yes they do, but I stopped scouting when I was in sixth grade, so I was only a brownie and a junior scout. So if you want to know about cadet scouts and senior scouts, you are going to have to watch someone else's video. Thank you so much, Alex, for letting me share my stuff. Of course. I appreciate it. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up and be sure you hit like on our video and share it with your friends. Thank Don't forget you. to subscribe. And subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.